What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Mike. It's your boy Aaron. We're back, season three, episode nine. Reigns of Castamere. So, guys, last episode. <laughs> Sorry. As drunk as Tyrion was last episode. Yeah, last episode was a brief. lot. It was friggin' too much. I don't think y'all know how uncomfortable I was last episode with all that fucking Lannister fuckery going on with all that uncomfortable wedding stuff. But Tyrion really stepped up and proved what kind of man he was by not. But we've been known, son. bro. We've been yeah, known. Yeah, I, I feel like we all knew that he was going to try to weasel his way out of spunking uh, Sandra for four. Oh, she's 14, man. And now Joffrey threatened to knock her up. Like, that's fucked up. Joffrey's a fucking cuck, bro. He's he not really doing is. nothing. He really is. I, I hate him with. The fire of a thousand. Like drums. I don't even think the walkers or the dragons are gonna matter. I feel like the Lannisters are just gonna tear each other apart before speaking, that happens. Speaking of walkers, my man Sam Tarley took one out. Yeah, with an obsidian knife. That That's he a did walker, it. not a white. He took out. He took out a walker. He's the first one the, to do it. The, the granddaddy walker looked like that was the first like walker we got a close up. Yo, on. just took him out. But he didn't grab the knife. At least in the edit, from what I saw, it looks like he didn't grab the knife. But he might have. Yeah, that could have just been you know, a bad, the haste of the moment. Bad editing. We still don't know about Theon. We know that Rob and his men are delayed, and it might be a slight to Walder Frey, a.k.a. Argus Filch. Speaking of uh, Rob, Melisandre put some leeches on Gendry's peepee. <laughs> oh, God. And fucking threw him in a fire. I don't know what the fuck happened, but... This is, last episode was awesome, but it was very uncomfortable. Uh, Daenerys, I mean, she was in the bath, and then this pretty dude who was in a movie that Mike saw on Netflix freaking came yeah, through. Yeah, he was playing keyboard on a fucking ironing board. On an ironing board. Honestly, all he really wants to know is if Thejoin, uh, Thejoin is a eunuch. If Theon if the really Theon got his is cut a, off. You know, yeah, man. That's, that's what really what he about. wants to know. But now, I mean, there's a bunch of other things I'm stressed about. Is what, what What's going on with those leeches? Like, What's what the going fun? on with Lord of Light? Let's, let's address the elephant in the room. This is in episode nine. I was about to say it. You took the words out of my mouth, dude. This, this is in episode nine of really the first season where every single episode, something bad has happened. This has been a traumatic experience leading up to this episode. And now I feel like this is going to be the one. Because last season it was Blackwater. And that shit was cray cray. Before that, it was Ned Stark's death. So it can only mean one thing. Something f- fucking crazy is about to happen. Like always, guys. And the cards are there, oh. too, man. Hope my sorry. But, yeah, yeah the, the, like the leeches, the Theon, uh, Rob, the whole shit with Sansa. Things are set up right now to be horrible. Are you, like, having, like, a Game of Thrones aneurysm? No, I'm having an anxiety fucking attack. AKA a Game of Thrones aneurysm? Yeah, yeah. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Join us on Patreon. Link in description where you can see pictures of Aaron at the zoo. Yeah, having a Game of Thrones aneurysm in public. <laughs> Let's get it. All to right, you. so episode nine, season three. The Reigns of Castamere. Have you ever seen the Reigns of Castamere? Of Castamere. For Game of Thrones. Who wrote it? Oh, okay, so usual writers who directed it. Oh, that's a terrible last name. David Nutter. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. You begged me not to send Theon to negotiate with his father, and I ignored your advice. Now Winterfell is burnt to the ground. The North is overrun with Ironborn, and Bran and Rickon are gone. So Castle Rock. I'm asking your advice. Good. Damn, what's Kat going to say, though? This is a big play. Oh, she's in it. Which is looking like he might not, because they were delayed. They haven't really been talking about it. Show them how it feels to lose what they love. Let's go. Mm -mm. It's not good, bro. It's not going to be a good move. No, it's not. Lord of Light, bro. Lord of Light. He's already fucked. It's going to... They already know. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm calling it now. They already know. Okay, so where are we pulling up to right now? And a really beautiful shot of wherever the hell we are. All right, so that's Men of the North. Cause uh, I think wolves. that's the house from the Little Vampire. What? My honored guests. Hi, Argus. 
I have come to make my apologies, my lord, and to beg your forgiveness. Don't beg my forgiveness, your grace. It wasn't me who spurned, it was my girls. Are we going to see them? Yeah. He's going to see one that he likes. I already know it, just to rub in the point. This is our wire. My daughter. You. Yo. My daughter, Walda. You. <laughs> my daughter, Derwa. She's not too bad. My daughter, Walva. She's not too bad, too. Jinea and Nehila. Uh, you know, like, not... Sarah not... and Sarah, granddaughters, twins. You oh, God. Either. They're also, like, They're fucking 12 years old. Like, uh, my granddaughter, Freya. Don't name Freya. My granddaughter... <laughs> you bet to spit out that water, bro. Well, <laughs> but it's well that it should. Waldina. I'm Murray. Fine. And here's my youngest daughter, Charade. Though she hasn't bled yet. Ew. Clearly, you don't have the patience for all that. My ladies, all men should keep their word. I beg your forgiveness. And pledge to do all I can to make amends so the phrase of the crossing and the Starks of Winterfell may once again be friends. Oh, you squib. You squib. He's such a squib. Very good. There she is. Come closer. How does he know that, though? Is he that smart? Still can't see you. Old eyes. Gross. I don't trust any of it. Of course not. Old eyes my ass, you fucking squib. Oh, you try to hide her under that dress. If you wanted to hide her, you shouldn't have brought her here in the first place. I can always see what's going on beneath a dress. Been at this a long time. He's so gross. Oh, no, he really is. I bet when you take that dress off, everything stays right where it is. Doesn't drop an inch. <laughs> and it's like I don't want to laugh at that. But his the lip bite was funny to me. <laughs> I say he betrayed me for firm tits and a tight fit. When I was your age, I'd have broken fifty oaths to get into that without a second thought. Well, I've enough room in the hall for you lot. At least he's understanding, I guess. <laughs> the, for the, rest. the wine will flow red, and the music will play loud, and we'll put this mess behind us. Okay. Okay. I, I wouldn't trust that. That's promising. You really trust all that? That's the, well, that's the best case scenario they could have went for there and asked for, bro. My men, you, I have no interest in slaves. A man cannot make love to property. This guy's pretty horny, huh? Or perhaps you lead Grey Worm and me to the slaughter. Cutting the head off our army. The masters of Yunkai will pay you your fee and you won't have to split it three ways because you've already slaughtered your partners. You have a very suspicious mind. Because he's fucking smart. Alright, Grey Worm. Making too much of an emphasis on trust. Can't trust a guy who might be able to manipulate and shapeshift. I fucks with Grey Worm, though. You're the Queen's guard, Sir Barristan. Your place is by the Queen. If we are truly her loyal servants, we'll do whatever needs to be done. No matter the cost, no matter our pride. It's better to have Barristan with her anyway, honestly. So they just keep cutting back to Sam and Craster's daughter. How do you know all that? I read about it in a, a very old book. All right, Sam, did you, were you smart enough to grab the knife? You know all that from staring at marks on paper? Yes. You're like a wizard. Harry. <laughs> you know I had to drop that knowledge. You're a wizard, Harry. You saw his smile right there? That made him so happy. That's great. Wow, Sam, Sam took her to the wall, huh? Used to tell us that no wild thing ever looked upon the wall and lived. Oh, God. They're going to run into John, aren't they? 
Alive. Uh, and Brand's headed there too, man. Mm -hmm. Remember what happens to children who run. Mm -hmm. I'm your father, and I'll do the talking. I love the hound. He's so <laughs> Me <great>. too. <laughs> He's so great. You love Cookade. Need a hand. Need about eight hands. Oh, oh shit. Many thanks. <laughs> Why is he doing that? Dead rats don't squeak. You're so dangerous, aren't you? Saying scary things to little girls. I know a killer. A real killer. That's so? You'd be like a kitten to him. He'd kill you with his little finger. That him? She's talking about... No? Valor Margulis. Come on, hound. Yeah, do the right You're thing. Very kind. Someday it'll get you killed. Oh, it better not. I stop watching if Arya Stark does. I fucking love her, yo. The gifts, I think. Bran and the Builder gave all this land south of the wall to the Night's Watch for their sustenance and support. Mr. Lewin taught me that. Nah, he's got to miss Mr. Lewin a little Doesn't seem bit. to be supporting anyone at the moment. Old Nan said they turn your skull into a cup and make you drink your own blood from it. <laughs> That's what old man said. We can drink some blood while we wait. Got some Skyrim. <laughs> I don't need much. Got some Skyrim shit right there. You see that set piece? Yeah, yeah. Very Skyrim-y. The watch might send a few men looking for a horse thief. They'll send a lot more to hunt down murderers. True. I hope so. John has to be capping this whole time. In the open. That's what we do. Surround the hut. Morning. Oh, they're so barbaric, yo. Yeah, but of course. I want to like them, but I can't. Like, they're such dickheads. <laughs> be out, be out, be out. <laughs> That's not a good look either. Come on, Egret. No, it really isn't, man. What is she looking at? Oh, they're there. That's where they are. Oh, she's so close. She's so close. She's painfully close. No one's going to believe you're a hog farmer if you eat them all. It's part of the animal. <laughs> no point in trying to hide behind that face. I know fear when I see it. I've seen it a lot. In yourself too. I need the fire. I saw it in you. Ooh. You're afraid of fire. <laughs> when Beric's sword went up in flames, you look like a scared little girl. Chill out, Arya. <laughs> You'll break your hands, bro. You. Someday, I'm gonna put a sword through your eye and out the back of your skull. I get why she hates him, but like he's really trying not, not, not to, to get her. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? He's on your side, dude. So, who's over there? That's that's Walder Frey's hood, right? That's where we just were. Where yeah. he was just apologizing. Where Rob yeah. was apologizing to all the daughters. Yeah. So, wow, uh, they're both in a uh, stone walls. There's a rider out there. Just one. There's more. Hold on. Wildlings. Is that the wildlings that are chasing? Hunting. Is that the wildlings that are with John? Hold on, no, no more hodor. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on, no. Hold on, 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 hold on. Into Hodor? Into the other cop? What? Can they all... No, he warged into Hodor. He w How the fuck did he do that? What did you do? Nothing. It's somebody else. I don't know. No, it was Bran. His eyes weren't white. No, I know it was, but it was the other guy because he, he's sensing that the other but guy... But the other guy's eyes weren't white. He's going to hop in that bird and check it out. Yep. 
You understand. Let me stand at least. Let me go with a bit of dignity. Are the wolves about to bug out? Make the crow kill him. You're one of us now. Prove it. Grandma. Yo, you got to prove it. I can't do it by choice. You know what you got to do. I don't know how. It's, it happens in my dreams. You're a wolf, bro. It's in your blood. Dude, this is such a cool moment. Holy Just shit. Did we? She looks sharp. Uh, now I hope he doesn't make the wolf fucking attack John. No, he's gonna see that it is John. He's gonna go to the wolf and see that it is John. one of them. I hope so. I hope it doesn't move too quick. I hope it's not moving too fast. He might just see somebody swinging a sword at somebody he knows. Yeah, he already knew that was coming. He's a crow. He'll always be a crow, and here's his crow wife guarding him. He'll stab us in the back first chance he gets. Do it. Come Don't on, Bran. Let's go, Bran. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking go, yo. Again with these fucking wolves, bro. Yo! Right the whole time. He went into the raven. Oh shit. What a play. No, John, don't run. Wait, wait. John, you dummy. There were wolves, bro. You know those wolves. You know those wolves, bro. Bro, that fucked me up really bad. Wow, so Bran really is uh, powerful, huh? Yeah, dude. Holy shit. That's what's up. Wow, man. He controlled humans. I don't think they that could do that. That was so too. tense, dude. <laughs> I'm happy Igrid didn't die. I mean, she's not in a good spot right now, though, because she just sided with John and he just dipped out on her. John was right there, bro. Bran was right there. It's like, what the fuck, bro? <sighs> do you think Bran saw John? No. I think everything happened too quick. Right? It was they moving mad fast. For a second. Yeah. Nah, John's going to be back. He's not going to leave the grid. No way. Nah, definitely not. No. He, yeah, especially after that, that she decided with him, like, he's not going to leave her ass no, out. No. He's too good of a man. I'm a great whistler. Greatest <sighs> in the land. I'm a good whistler, too. That's nice. I can't do it. <laughs> you think this is a play? I don't know. I don't know if I trust at all. There may be others. I doubt it. The Yunkish prefer to let their slaves do their fighting for them. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, let's go, Grey Worm. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Holy shit. They got that shit though. No, nah, it's the marriage now. Oh, uh, between the uncle and the Yeah. Yeah, that shit with Brand of the Wolves stars me fucked up. This is a wild episode nine. Yeah, the pacing's a little different than I thought it was gonna be, honestly. Usually they like, you know focus uh, on one thing. Well I guess they did it in Ned Stark, season one. Season one was kinda of all over the place, but it led to that one big thing, you know. So that has me thinking, is this gonna lead to one big thing? And if so, what the fuck is <laughs> what it? What the fuck is it? So which one did he choose? She's not bad, right? What about? Oh, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. <laughs> He's like, take the fucking <laughs> lord, bro. Oh my god. 
juxtaposition of what Tyrion had to deal with. Yeah. With this. Poor guy. Looking like Natalie Portman over here. Yeah, a little bit, right? Yeah, low key. Aw, cat tappy. Oh, god damn it. I'm like cry laughing because it's a wedding, but it's so cringe because it's Argus film. You got inside Hodor's mind. I can't do that, North the Wall. No one can do that. Anyway. Yeah, it's big, dude. Yeah. That's big, big. Bran has to live. I saw John. Where? He was with the wild. Oh, he did see. They tried to kill him, but he got away. Let's go. We're heading back to Castle Black then. That's where we should go. I'm coming with you. No. That's responsible of Bran, honestly. You and Osher and Shaggy Dog head for the last half. The Umbers are our bannermen. They'll protect you. I'm your brother. <laughs> oh, the show fucking gets me so emotional. I just want all these Stark children to not be separated because all the Lannisters get to chill in fucking King's Landing and it's not fair. I don't want to leave. Oh, God. <laughs> Quiet, little soldier. They'll teach you how to swing a sword. I know how to swing a sword. What the fuck, man? I can't take this shit, bro. Yep. That's number 10. No, I could. Back to reality. <laughs> You've been waiting a long time. Oh, fuck a duck, man. That was sad as fuck. Oh, my God. They got out. Of course they did. But he didn't. Oh, he did survive. Okay. The city is yours, my queen. They didn't even have to fight anybody. They did it with three guys. Are you kidding me? In fucking sane. All right, not only did number 10 happen, but... You gotta just, stop counting the cries. You're nuts. No, I... Bro, that was so emotional. How... how <laughs> no, no, you gotta just stop counting. I don't even think that's the right number. All right, bet. I'm gonna say it's number 10. <laughs> what? They took over the city with three guys? With three guys? What? What? I mean, but it's Jorah. I didn't think Jorah was gonna die. I didn't think any of them were really going to die. I just looked like the numbers were a little odd. But it seems like the trend is is that if it cuts away to something, you know, something else. It seems like the trend is fucking Khaleesi is just on a rampage. She don't give a fuck. Just doesn't give a fuck. She's trying to, like, unite all the other kingdoms other than Westeros. And she's going to roll up to Westeros like a million people deep. Like, hey. This is all mine now. By the way, these are my Jamie. three fully grown. <laughs> Jamie. Come on, I need some more sadness. Give me more sadness. Give me more sadness. I hope she makes you very happy. Well, she's made me very rich. Pardon? <laughs> my lord, my lady. I need to find oh, a well. tree to piss on. Don't hate the play, I hate the game, no, I guess. But they are not yet man and wife. A sword needs a sheath. <laughs> and the wedding needs a bedding. What does my sire say? What happened last wedding? With the bedding. That's so traumatizing, Loki. Monster free. There's no caging him again. <laughs> Gross. Uh, at least Rob got out of that scot free. Nah, his his woman's pissed. You can see in the look on her face. I'm sure you endured yours with grace. Oh, not forbade it. He said it wouldn't be right if he broke a man's jaw on our wedding night. <laughs> Let's go, Ned Stark. Three seasons later. That there are other ways of providing grace. A baby. I don't know. But if it's a boy, I know what we should name him. Oh, do you? It seems to me the father should have some say in his son's naming. Eddard. Oh, my God, yeah. Don't you want to teach little Ned Stark how to ride horses? I do. That should almost make me cry a little oh, bit. Oh, Lemon! <laughs> I was like... That was sweet. <laughs> Happy 
again, dude. Oh, it's always with Cat, bro. It's never not with anybody else. Why do you close the doors? I don't know. Oh, uh, whose wolf is that? Were those the two wolves? I think so. Or is that Rob's wolf? I don't know. Oh, they're here. They're here. I don't have a great feeling. Why was the door closed? It's a ploy. Those guys are running up the gate. It's a ploy. It's a ploy, bro. They were I feel gate. I've been remiss, but I haven't shown you the hospitality you deserve. My king has married, and I owe my new queen a wedding gift. I don't even want to watch the show anymore, bro. I don't want to watch it anymore. Oh, I don't want to watch the show anymore, dude. You're going to make him go out like that? By Argus Filch? How are they going to hype us up for a baby Ned Stark? And you're going to get him killed by Argus Filch? You killed the Starks. Because of Argus Filch. Not because of Tywin Lannister. Holy fuck. Was that the Red Wedding? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Was that the Red Wedding? I don't know, bro. They Yo. Just, they just killed everybody, bro. Everybody's dead. Yep. Did Cat die? Probably. She got shot once, I saw. Maybe she's not dead. I only saw one shot from Cat. Rob is fucked. The baby's done. That girl is done. Yep. Arya's here. I'm, I'm, I, it's, I, she's going to see all this in about two seconds. And once again, Ari is the victim in an episode nine. Dude, I need to hit my dick. Argus Filch just killed all the Starks. Except Bran. Rickon. And Rickon. And Arya and Sansa. And John. And John. If but John is count. half a Stark. Yeah. And Theon. It's still if you probably too, a yeah. eunuch. I I don't know what you people expected. Any human reaction of characters that we've grown to know and love. Yo, what's what's about to happen right now though? Alright, hold up. Y'all just killed my fucking king. Y'all just killed the king in the north, bro. I hope they're ready for the fucking smoke. What from who? Who's from bringing the smoke? Everybody that Rob had with him. They didn't kill everybody they're in the just now. They're in the camp. Yeah, and everybody that's going to come back is going to bug out, bro. If they make it, he is equal to the amount of men. Why would he do that? Because he got slighted. That was some Scarface shit, bro. The level of violence that I just witnessed with characters that I've grown to know and love and cried over for fucking two seasons now. Uh, You've seen how Kat... Knew it. When she saw knew that, right away too, right? That he had the chainmail. She the saw the door. She got sussed. She heard the music, and then she looked at homie. Saw him being weird. Oh my god! I, I dude, I'm afraid of this next 13 minutes. All right, I, let's go. I really don't want to watch this. The winner fell, right? <laughs> I can't watch this horror anymore, dude. Chill out, Arya. Arya has to relax, yo. Arya has I to can't. chill. I can't, dude. The music is fucking fucking me up. The, oh, the wolf. wolves are trying to get out. Arya got that shit. Arya's getting it. At least they didn't kill the wolf, yo. Oh, the wolves 
don't know he's dead. Let's go, though. I, I, Arya needs help right now. No. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? Oh, my God. Yes. Too late. Yeah, it's fucking too late. It's fucking too late. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Get her out, bro. She doesn't need to see that shit. Not again, dude. Not again. Doesn't need to see that shit. Good shit hound. They really just killed the fucking wolf, bro. That shit has me more mad than anything else. Still alive, dude. Not gonna be for long, bro. Oh my god, Rob's still alive too. Barely, bro. He got shot like four times. Killed his beautiful Valanta's wife. The king in the north arises. <laughs> nah, she's dead, bro. He's dead as fuck, bro. So is Rob. What's he gonna do, bro? He's got five arrows in him. Cat can make it. I love it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Kill yeah. that bitch. Fucking do it. Fucking do it. Let's go. Fucking do it. Let it end. Please. Fucking do it. He is my son. And he's dying. My first son. Let him go and I swear that we will forget this. I swear it by the old gods and you. But let Rob go. Rob, get up. Get up and walk out. Please. Please. Oh, my God. And why would I let him do that? On my honor as a Tullik. On my honor as a Stark. Let him go. Or I will cut your wife's throat. But Rob is dead. I'll find another. Mother, the Lannisters send their regards. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I can't. I fucking can't. I fucking You better kill her. Bro, I don't want to. I don't want to watch another episode of this show. I don't want to watch another episode of this show. I can't. I can't. I can't fucking emotionally handle it, bro. I can't. I can't, I can't fucking emotionally handle it, bro. I can't. I fucking can't. If it gets worse than that, I. I don't know. I don't fucking know, dude. I knew that shit was coming, oh man. Oh, my God, dude. I almost cried for that shit, man. I did. I almost Five did. Five times. Yo, uh, when I say I was fucking close, holy fuck. Oh, my God. Thank the fucking Lord. The Hound just got Arya Stark the fuck out of there. I could not handle her seeing that shit. I could not handle the fucking wolf dying. I could not handle fucking... Cat having to watch Rob. And you saw her just slit that bitch's throat too? I'm very upset. Um that's just about every single character I liked in the show that was good or like <sighs> like chaotic good. And they killed them all. Now I'm trying to look past my emotions here and think about this rationally. Why did that happen? Because Walder Frey felt slighted. Did that happen because Walder Frey? Or the Lannisters knew. Or did that happen because of the fucking leeches? The black magic shit that the fucking Melisandre is doing. He said the Lannisters sent their regards. I, I know, I know. But was that... Was the reason Walder Frey was crazy because of the leech shit? I don't know. 
That's what I'm thinking in my head. Like, that's the first episode I need to go back and rewatch, like, tonight. Like, I need to go back and rewatch that right away. Because that was a lot. 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 I'm stressed the fuck out. I know normally I'm very gregarious and, and talkative. I have no words for that. None. I have a couple words. Fuck you, fucking Filch. Fuck you, Filch. Three words. Fuck you, Filch. Holy shit. She said, I'll slit your wife's throat. I'll get another. All I know is that episode was fucking wild. Yeah. I can't fucking believe what the fuck I just saw. I'm a little in disbelief. I like I feel like as soon as the baby got stabbed in the stomach, my brain turned off. You know what I mean? Like as soon as that happened, my like I just kinda like like, oh, okay. Like this is fucked. This is fucked. I, I, I have to like make a real comparison. Like a combination of some gory shit that you see in a horror movie versus like the shell shock of like a war movie. That was the Red Wedding. Claire. I don't think so. I think that was. Because the Red Wedding isn't the name of an episode. It's not the title of an episode. I don't know. That's what somebody told me. It's not the title of an episode. Somebody in the comments. So I think that was the Red Wedding. I think. I don't know. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to be that one. I thought it was going to be the Tyrion one. Last episode. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, I don't know, dude. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> I'm fucked up. <laughs> you guys don't understand. I feel like I, I kind of like shut down a little bit for that but i'm fucked up from that man me too be sure to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell join us on patreon to see the full length reaction of this and more link in description and we're gonna see you on the next one i think how are you feeling about it aaron you're a bunch of sadists peace